A whole host of factors help determine our intelligence, from nature to nurture to nutrition. But swimsuits? What would an expert say to that? In today's image-obsessed society, women, and increasingly men, are defined by their bodies. Both men and women learn to internalize this objectification, and as a result of this, they worry about being judged by others, and in turn, this leads to them judging themselves. This is called self-objectification. So even if a person is in a swimsuit on their own, they spend their mental resources thinking about being judged by others or being judged by themselves, rather than focusing on the task in hand at the time. Surely your clothing can't affect your intelligence that much, can it? Well, there's one way to find out. To start with, we obviously needed some women and also some men. This formidable group faced three tests wearing three very different outfits. For our first test, we needed to know how intelligent our group was, so we gave them a math test dressed in their own clothes. And since math tests aren't particularly glamorous, we invited this lovely lady to supervise. Right, if you're all feeling comfortable, you can turn your papers over and begin. The time starts now. Our participants had 10 minutes to answer 20 math questions. So wearing their own clothes, how did they do? OK, that's time. Pens down, please. As a group, they scored an average of 65.5%. So they're not geniuses, but that's all right, because now we have a baseline. But before we retested them in their swimwear, we needed to eliminate the possibility that our subjects would test worse simply because they feel silly in bathing suits and not, as our expert suggested, because they feel self-conscious. We put the subjects in something ridiculous, scientifically ridiculous. Would their scores drop dressed like this? I've never really uh, sat a mouse test uh, dressed as a mouse before. If I'm honest, it's not the strongest look I've ever had. I feel like <laughs> Right, time for test two. Your time starts again now. Again. Our participants had 10 minutes to answer 20 math questions at the same level. So the silly costumes may have made them feel stupid, but did they actually make them stupid? And that's time. Pens down, please. 